Welcome back to the Commissioner's Office. My name is Ryan, and I am your Commissioner. In today's video, we're going to be opening up a pair of Pokemon 151 mini tins, as well as a build and battle box from Paradox Rift. I also got this Brilliant Stars Premium Collection Elite Trainer Box from Beckett Castle TCG for a really great price. We're going to move on to an Elite Trainer Box of Pokemon 151 and then finish it off with this Combined Powers Premium Collection Box featuring a ton of promos, 11 booster packs, and just an overall good presentation. So let's jump into opening some booster packs right now. What's up everybody? You made it to the main part of the video. Thank you very much for joining me today. And we have a Ram Sham of products, like I said in the intro. You don't need to play it over again. But we are gonna be checking out this combined powers box that features Suicune, Ho Oh, and Lugia, along with some random stuff that's behind here. If you look really closely, I don't know if that's a code card or what, and I don't know what's behind there, but I doubt it's two code cards. And then 11 booster packs of I don't know what. I can see Paradox Raft, Rift. Paradox Raft? I can see Paradox Raft back there, Paradox Rift back there, um, and I think Obsidian Flames is the only thing that I really know is in here. Uh, but then we do have all this other product to open, so we got 10 booster packs, plus 11, that's 21. There's 9 in here, that's 30, 32, 34, 38 booster packs total is what we're opening today. Getting big, and this is around my birthday, so I'm just kind of treating myself and treating you guys all to a very fun opening. I don't even know where to start at. Uh, Brilliant Stars is so fun. It's one of my favorite sets from Scar um, Sword and Shield. And then everything else here is pretty much from Scarlet and Violet. Uh, so let's just kind of jump in. I, I don't really know what you guys want me to open first. I don't really care. I'm gonna start out with a 151 tin, just cause we got two of those. And we'll start off with seeing if we can get any of the big pulls out of here. Still looking for that Blastoise. Still trying to accomplish the, um, the entire collection which would be great and these mini tins when you see them buy them i mean it's two booster packs typically for 9.99 that is a steal when it comes to uh 151 i'd say about a good deal for anything is about five dollars a booster pack but at the same time if you can find anything for less than that hey you're on easy street you keep up and you pay as little as Ooh, you know what i just noticed I don't, I don't have a uh, trash can, and I'm an idiot for that, but I will do that as soon as I finish opening this booster pack here. Um, man, I would love to pull a god pack on this channel just one time. Just just one time to duo, and then we're starting off with a Golem EX. Very sweet. I don't think I have this, so this is one that's going to have to go into the collection, uh, the binder, if you will. But starting off this video really hot, and this Golem is... Um, really well centered actually that is pristine and i'm sorry how terrible my hands look i know they look beat up um i work in retail and opening cardboard boxes all day dries your hands out and it just kind of that's kind of where we're at but let me grab the trash can really quick i'm gonna keep talking while i do it because it's so close and i don't really care i'm at the point now where i'm making these videos where everything's pretty close to where i have to have it but sometimes I screw up. So anyways, here we go. Pack two. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let's see. Is this going to be a, a double whammy? A whammy! A double whammy tin. It could be. It probably won't be. But it's possible. It's not not improbable. Little Pikachu with those rosy red cheeks. Kadabra, Ivysaur, Slowbro, Cloyster, Nidoking. Wow. Well, that's odd. Very odd. Nidoking. Doubles. If you don't got doubles, do you have triples? It only matters if you have triples. But I got doubles. I like that Tim Robinson, that, that show with Bob Odenkirk. Uh, we're not going to open this next one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where should we go? We'll go to Paradox Rift here, and then we'll do the combined powers. Um, we'll keep that like kind of in the middle. But we have so much stuff to open today. We have so many booster packs, 38 total. Just having fun here. Um, it's been a while. Like I typically have these themed, and now here's the problem. I guess you could kind of theme this. The theme is just randomness. But I've never opened one of these build build in battle boxes. Ooh, Aegislash. Aegislash, Aegislash. I don't open any of these anymore, these build in battles. I just I they just fly below my radar. They do have these like really cool cards in here that do have that little um what would you call it? Logo? That little Paradox Rift logo. I mean, who cares? We can we can open it and that's okay because that's just a code card right there. Be safe with knives, of course. We got this really cool little Agis Slash card here. We'll get rid of all this little packaging stuff. Um, but there it is. It's got that little logo of Paradox Rift right there. 
Ooh, trainer tips. Thank you very much. I didn't know how to play the game bad enough as it is. Um, let's just, what do you got here? Just a bunch of... Okay. Yeah, I'm not playing this deck. <laughs> not really good trainers either, except for Nest Ball and Rare Candy that you probably need. Mm, yeah, there's a code card if you guys want it. I'll probably end up, you know, I feel bad. Sorry, didn't mean to fake you guys out. I will probably end up keeping that one for myself. And Agislash will give you a little sleeve because you're the only, I haven't had one of these in so long. So you get one, good for you. And then four, four booster packs. What I'm looking for is Golden Go. Oh, God, now I say it like everybody else. Goldango, Goldango, a Goldango at your baby. I'm gonna say Goldango, I don't really care. Armor Rouge, lame. These are filled with air like Lay's potato chips. I can just feel it. This whole packaging is just filled with air. There you go. Let's see where we're gonna get out of here. Hopefully we get some of the big card pulls. I do think that Paradox Rift is maintaining its value and actually um, has some very playable cards in it. Techno Radar is probably one of them. Dweeble, Magby, and a Chin Yu. No Chin Yu, no Chin Yu. And then a guard chop. God, do you, do you see it, right? I mean, I wish you guys could feel this. It's full of air. It's like the guys who are packaging these blue in them. All right, there's some back there. I can see it poking out right there. A vanillish, an onyx, a tink a tink, a shark cadet, amber palm, Snorlax doll. I love myself a little Snorlax. I want a Snorlax doll. Iron moth. Ancient booster capsule. So that's pretty cool. Two nice reverses. And then we're going to end it off with a. What could this be? Do, 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 do. Don't know. Toxicity EX. We have plenty of those. No need for any mucho. Any moss. I'm sorry. Any moss. Mucho is a lot. Mui is very. Right? Don't need any. See, so yeah, I didn't even say that right, anyways. Either way, I guess this will get a sleeve. Again, I don't know why some of these have really pretty texture and lighting on them, and some don't. Um, I could use those, so I'm going to set those off. Camera. Those. Mas booster paradox rifts. Let's see what we get out of here. Let's 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 clean up right here. Let's start getting some secret illustrators. Some. I wish they were still called alt arts. I mean, I just we should just call them alt arts again. Fight the fight the status quo. Go against the grain, man. Call it what you want. But after this, we're definitely going to open the combined powers, and then we'll split it up from there. We'll kind of see what's in it. Um, but we are going to explore, so I mean, if you really had to, I, I feel bad that you had to skip all the way to the front of this. I'm sure if you were watching any other YouTubers that you've probably already seen exactly what's in those. So um, you didn't really even need to watch this whole thing. You could probably, you, if you're watching it, you're probably just watching it to see if I get any pulls. And boy, do I hope you guys get to see some of that. So combined powers, premium collection, Suicune, Lugia, and Ho-Oh. I wonder how they settled on Suicune instead of any of the other legendary dogs. Um, but look at this. It says three foil cards featuring Lugia EX, Ho-Oh EX, and Suicune EX. Probably, oh, there we go. Ruined it for me. One foil card featuring Mr. Mime. Three foil card, three foil Pokemon tool cards. Interesting. One foil Oversword. Oh my god, I cannot speak. One foil oversized card featuring Lugia EX and 11 Pokemon TCG booster packs. Three legendary Pokemon EX of the Johto region combine their powers in this exciting collection. Soar above the rainbow with Ho-Oh EX, dive deep below the waves with Lugia EX, and dash across the water with Suicune EX. You'll also find a foil, foil, a foil card featuring Mr. Mime and oversized card featuring... Oh, this is literally all it says down here. Don't need that. So where would the best side to be pull it uh we'll do it this way very carefully nice sharp blade so there's really no no lag bada bing bada boom look at that be careful when you open these because they are kind of dangerous especially this this thing's sharp i mean i keep this thing sharp all the time good click action too again so much plastic there's no need for this much plastic in any i mean there's really no reason to be it unless you're in the plastics and the mean girls that's right. I like Mean Girls. It's a good movie. All right, let's see what we got here, though. Let's just kind of pick these all up. I kind of saw one of these flip out. We got Suicune EX. I mean, this... Yeah, wait, you can... Is this playable? No, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa, that is... I'm going to say it. That's pretty sexy. Drops in the ocean. This is sick. Oh, my God. That is such a cool card. So happy I bought this now. There's the Mr. Mime. Dude, these are sick. I totally get why they were selling this for 60 bucks. Nobody knew that these were going to be the quality. 
Lugia EX, this one's a little bare. I get the stars in the back, that's pretty cool. Ho-Oh EX has definitely that same thing. And then it's probably a code card. Ooh, Scorching Charcoal. Dude, these are sick. Oh my God, I forgot there's another one. Sunseed, dude, these are solid. These are all very cool. These all get a sleeve. I'll probably put them in a top loader by themselves later, but these are kind of that quality of that, uh, that Pokemon premium, I guess that's the matte collection, that giant black box that has all the uh, throwbacks to Charizard and all of them. They have the um, gold borders and such. I don't know if that's a gold border for English too, or if that was just for uh, Japanese, but man, these, these are sick. These are some of the best promo cards I have ever, ever seen. And this Mr. Mime here, I believe is from the vending series originally, which um, Danny Fantoon, I don't think you ever tune in. If you do, cool. I know you're a local for Wisconsin. I met you at tournaments a couple times, but you bought pretty much all of my um, Pokemon vending series, which was really cool and very hard to pass by, uh, um, sell, but I did keep the, you let me keep the Mewtwo and the um, Snorlax, because he's such a nice guy. Lugia EX, there we go. Very cool. So now we have 11 booster packs in here, which that's kind of weird. Six on one side, five on the other. Why don't you just give us 12 or 10? I'd, I'd rather have the 10, or the 12, not the 10. Uh, Paradox Rift, Paradox Rift, Obsidian Flames, Obsidian Flames, Obsidian Flames, not bad. That's a good, a decent lineup. I will take that out, Joy. Take it out, Jay. And it looks like there's just a bunch of basics for a little while it's on the back, which whatever, maybe we could get some really good cards out of there. Paradox Rift, Paradox Rift, Obsidian Flames, Scarlet Valley. Cool, good lineup. No Paldea Evolved though, that's kind of, kind of sus. Um, and now I guess what we can just do here is kind of mix them up. Let's, this is gonna be a longer video because we got so many different packs in it. This is the first time in a very long time. Nah, see, I just ruined that. It's not the first time. It's just been a long time since we've done a ram sham of, of product. And you know what, we'll start with these two because they got more. My cousin pulled a, uh, <clears throat> the Charizard out of Obsidian Flames, the um, Altart, Secret Illustrator or whatever out of here, which is very, I, I envy you, Danny. Good for you, dude. Spoink, Tynamo, Surskit, Gumshoes, Pupitar, Togetic, Togetic, Pidgeotto, Blossom, and a Toga Kiss. Uh, nope, that's not what I want to be pulling out of here. Uh, Paradox Rift, let's see if we can get a Goldango. Let's get a Goldango, or what's the other good one that I would like out of here? Sarah, Sandy, oh no, we, we pull enough Sandy Guess. We don't need any more Sandy Guess. I think I need some more golds out of here. Hone Edge, Horsey, Joltik, Techno Radar, Steeny, Counter Catcher, Remor Raid, Mill Tank, and a Garganackle. A Garganackle. And a Knackle Stack. A Garganackle and a Knackle Stack. I just think those are such dumb named Pokemon. I never really think they're all that named that poorly, but those are just the worst. Now, out of Scarlet and Violet base, I mean, we're looking at just the alts pretty much for all the new Pokemon, Maridon, Garidon, but I feel like there is a Miriam and a, is the Gardevoir in this one? I don't know. Professor's Research, always needed. Thank God they don't ban those. Because then you'd have a bad time. You'd have a real bad time. I'm going to aim this down a little bit now because we finally kind of dwindled everything. Um, We'll do another Obsidian Flames. We got so much product still. We still have two ETBs and a mini tin, and we have two really awesome ETBs up after this. This is gonna be awesome. Boon Sweet, Vulpix, the, one of the cutest Pokemon ever. Flamigo, Bronzong, Claydol, Heatmore, and a Melmetal EX. I have not ever pulled this. How is this possible? I've never pulled the Melmetal. I don't know why I'm saying that so weird. Melmetal, Melmetal, Melmetal. It's like if you say metal, it's kind of hard to say. Mel metal, very cool. I had never pulled that card before, very cool. Metal belize, <laughs> maybe that's probably why, because I've seen that instead of metabolize, it's metal belize, like that's dumb. Natu, Remoraid, Pumpkaboo, Zubat, Absol, Simisir, Crobat, Turbo Energized, Technical Machine, Nackley, and a Rourke, Full Art Trainer. So there we go, finally getting another pull. It's, I feel like it's been a while, and I feel like I do need it. Yeah, it's better when it's straight on. A Rourke, a Rourke, woof, Rourke. Nice, I'll take this card. I like the trainers, you know me. If you've been watching my channel, you know I like trainers. Those A spec cards in the newest set, Temporal Forces, are sick. I've pulled three of them. 
all those videos should and will be released and they, they already should be there i don't know why i said it like that they they're out if, if you're watching this it's out so go ahead go back rewind go to the other videos tell me i'm lying because i ain't mass shift two oh my god three dogs in a row what's going on here what's going on how many more Clawitzer, no, you're a crustacean, Grievard, Mashif, and a dash bun, all in a row. And a Torkoalier, a turtle, Scovillian, whatever, Slowpoke, Flea Cuckoo, and a rubber room. And then it ends on a car. We got a bunch of dogs and then a vehicle. A vehicle. All right, let's go. Let's get something big. I don't even know what, I think that we're just going to duke it out between the elite trainer boxes um, and just, you know, start with Brilliant Stars and then go every other with 151. Whoa. Togetic, Rhyme, King Gambit, and we got some here. What is this? Uh, Obsidian Flames, Agita. Memoirs of Agita. Not the best card right there, but two trainer cards, and the other one being from Paradox Rift. Rourke and Agita. Go ahead, go ahead, hang out. Talk amongst yourselves. Tell me. How's everything going in trainer land? But now we got Paradox Rift. We're just going. We're just going at it right now. We're just doing a ton of ton of damage. And I think I'm I'm kind of considering just adding the mini tin to the stack of um, 151 ETB. But at the same time, I kind of want to see what the ETB holds by itself. Maybe it's got a bunch of pulls. And a Brute Bonnet, which is a very playable card. And people want to play it. Especially with the... It's not Salamence. Oh my god. Roaring Moon... I don't like calling them those. I want to remember that. A roaring moon. All right, Scarlet and Violet. I don't think Scarlet and Violet gave us a dang thing. Scarlet and Violet has been a snooze fest. Complete snooze fest. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to need to play a poker flute to wake me up. Judge, Floatzel, Miriam, Crocorock, Cyclazar, and a nothing. Wait, dude, what is up with this? That's the, didn't I do that earlier in this video? I think it was in this video I did a double, was it Garganackle? No, Tyranitar, right? Was it Tyranitar? And then I did it in the one of my last videos that I opened just yesterday or today. I can't remember, but it was two iron thorns back to back, which is essentially Tyranitar, but whatever. Iron thorns. So thorny. Squovet. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm itching my eye. Squovet. Palpitoad, Zizagoon, Scyther, Frogadier, Drampa for me, Grandpa, Sharkpedo, Camerupt, Sinistee, and a Toxicity. A Sinistee, and then a Toxicity. And then we're going to end up on the um, Terraform of Garchomp and see a Paradox Rift. I would just like one of these to be the clear winner and just be like, bang, but I'm going to be honest. These promos are all pretty solid, and I think those are almost for me. I like the, I, I like them more than everything else that I've pulled. Gimme Ghoul, which is a very playable card. I'm gonna say Gyarados. Nope, oh, Garchomp EX, which is funny. The Terra, 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 the Terra form, Terra form, which is kind of funny. That um, was the pack art. That's kind of weird. But here we are, down to what is this? Ten, nine. 20, 20, 21 booster packs left. So we still have a ton. I mean, 36 are in a booster uh, box and um, I still haven't opened both of the, uh, what are they called? Booster boxes of Temporal Forces as of now, but hopefully we will um, do that pretty soon. Um, we're gonna open this Meowth. I was gonna say Mew, I don't know why. That was poor. That was the worst slice I have had. What is going on here? This must be some really good packaging on here. This thing is sharp. Where am I cutting it? What's happening? There we go. I'm gonna say. Two of these. Bink, bonk, 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 bonk. Wow, just doesn't want to release it. Hopefully there's something really good in those. I'll separate those. I will segregate them so we can tell the difference between those and the ETB. But I am seriously going to, um, I'm going to open these, and I'm just going to kind of give us a refresher on what's in these, because nobody wants to watch me unpackaging stuff periodically through this. Let's do it, do it all in one go. Let's do the Brilliant Stars uh, Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. Got this at Beckett Castle TCG. He had a price wrong on the shelf, $37, but then I was like, hey, is that really $37? Ah, uh, no, and I was like, that's okay. I will still buy it, because $50 is extremely fair, and guess what? It was the very last one. 
that he had, and Brilliant Stars is definitely one of the best sets of Sword and Shield. Oh my god, these are so nice. The Pokemon Center exclusivi exclusivos. Also, these are really nice. I think that the Brilliant Stars basic one is not this shiny. I don't think it is, at least. We'll put that up there. But you get one of these Brilliant Stars little deck boxes. Big deal. Um, I'm going to... Yep, these are... I think these are higher quality. I don't have anything here with me to compare. But I do think these... I think these deck boxes are different. They might, or uh, sleeves might be different. Uh, old energies. What do we got here? What do we got? V Star Marker. Arceus Coin. The old um, condition markers. These poopy brown colored things. Where's the, um, is there a code card? There it is. That's gonna be mine though. I'm gonna claim that before you guys even get a chance to. No offense. Sorry. That's how I do it. Oh yeah, they used to come with these rule things that can go right in the trash. And then 10 booster packs of Brilliant Stars. God, these are sick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very cool. We can hopefully pull the alternate art Charizard out of that, and then I will be a happy boy. I'll be a happy Pokemon boy. And then we have the uh, Pokemon 151 ATB. I am not going to show you guys everything in here. If you watch my videos, you know how much I love 151, and you're just going to have to deal with not seeing its contents. We're pulling out the booster packs, and that's all it is. You guys don't even get the code card. <laughs> Maybe you'll get the code card. All right, I'll give you the code card. Stop whining, and I'll give you the code card. Jeez, these take so much effort to open, so much trash. All right, there you go. You have animals. You have a bunch of animals. And then nine booster packs. And I'll take that out, too, so it doesn't get crushed. Very cool. All right, go away. Go under the desk. To the commissioner's office you go. All right, and then we got 10 of these. And then 9, 10, 11 of these bad boys. Okay, so you guys see what I did here, right? ETB, Mini 10, Pokemon Center exclusive. Let's go to the ETB. And guys, let's do it. Come on, chant with me. Chant. God, pack, God, pack, God, pack, God, pack. Magmar. It's not. <laughs> You guys already knew. Diglett, Polyrath, Pidgeot, Ammonite. All we can really hope for right now, though, is the Blastoise. And that's an Arbok. Easy can tell it from a mile away. These still go for about 10, 12 bucks a piece. Um, do not underestimate the value of 151, but what I will tell you is underestimate how many cards you're actually going to pull out of here because it does not happen that much. The one ETB that I opened recently had nothing in it. So uh, that's eight, now it's 10. So it's 10 and 10. So if we go boom, 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 boom. What would end first? That would end first. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do Brilliant Stars. So now we're back in Sword and Shield, which means I have to do a card trip. Ooh, that opened really. Card trick. I do have to do a card trick. There you go, Brilliant Stars. Four from the back, because this is Sword and Shield. And hopefully we can get something really big. We're looking at trainer gallery cards and alternate art cards going this far back. And even the quality of these cards, you can see how thick that bottom is right there. Ooh, that's a thick bottom. Um, but they definitely have different quality. I think Sword and uh, Scarlet and Violet definitely Im improved, but what is this? Oh, sweet, dude. Oh my god, that's a really that's that's cool. I'll take that all day. Single Strike Urshifu V Max. Starting out. Uh, brilliant stars from the sword and shield era very cool i will take that all day i hate when people say that but i do it all the time now that i'm a youtuber um that's very cool i will take that that's gonna get a it doesn't need it Ooh, that's terrible i don't know how that got in there i have a whole bunch of top loaders right here i thought we're all brand new that must have just found its way into there there you go single strike urshifu v max um not a bad card but I like that they have those black and gold cards back then. That's that's pretty sweet. Pretty solid. I'm sorry, I'm a little, a little taken aback because it's it's nice to open Brilliant Stars again. But um, this is a good opening. 38 booster packs, huh? I have so many sitting in front of me right now, too. Like, un underneath, there, there's so much product yet to open. Um, thank God I remembered not to do the pack trick. Persian, Muck, Gold Duck, and a Doe Duo, and a Nothing of Marowak. Oh, but we do have a holographic... Energy, fighting energy, which I don't think anybody really needs to play with, but that'll just go shit over there. Oops, I said a bad word on accent, but I just was doing an SH thing, but I don't care. Who cares? Um, I'm pretty pretty reasonable with kids. You guys can 
deal with it. I try to be kin friendly, but you can't always do it. Sometimes it just slips. All right, electric, float zell, choice belt, vibrava, hall lucha, weasel. You can even tell that they're just cut differently. I think that they really up the quality with scarlet and violet. Turtwig, all creamy, and a motham. That's a lame card. I don't need that. Going over to 151 again. Right? Yeah. I don't know why I just had that. Oh, there is the fabled issue at the top. Boom. You can see it. I don't know why all these latest sets have that issue. That top right corner is dented. Don't know why. Ivy sore coughing. Let's get something big. Machoke and a, a Mewtwo. A Mewtwo. You? You? You two? No, Mewtwo. Mewtwo. All right, let's go to Brilliant Stars again. We got to get this Charizard. There are only... There are, what, three Charizards in here? Four, right? Four or five. Is it six? It could be six. There is a rainbow. There is a full art. There is a alternate art. There is a basic V, I believe. There's a bunch. Morgaram, Claydol, Executor. I really hope that we didn't get our um, really big pull out of here because that would stink, but it's, it's possible that we already used up all of our juju, good juju on um, the single strike Urshifu right there but it is what it is if it is then whatever but if not sweet i'll take more cards i want more cards that's all i want to do this is all a gambling thing is all it is there you go all right here we go we got a gold card that's probably the mew i can see it i can see it sorry let me organize all right here we go charmander spiro rhyhorn why is a gold card not in a god pack though because that would be pretty cool if it was porygon no oh, switch. Okay, I think that that is the last gold that I needed, which is nice. Jolteon and then a non-holographic. And you know what? I'm actually going to pull out the binder right now and see if I can slide it in there. It's because it's right below me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, gosh. All right. Open up the binder. What do you see? Maybe we will need a switch indeed. Yep, we need the switch. Bada bang, bada boom. So let's just take that right here. Oopsie, doopsie, poopsie. And throw it, right? 207, that's 206. That's a 206. There you go. Sweet. So look at that. It's the first time on this channel where I actually got to put a card in the binder while y'all watched as I pulled it. So that's pretty cool. I've been wanting that Switch card for a very long time. Uh, trainer cards, love them. Gold cards, love them. Ooh, this one's funny feeling. I don't know why, it's just, it has a quality. It does not have equality, it has a quality. Shut it down. There you go, one, two, three, four. And yes, I'm having a very good time. I'm being very playful. I'm just, I'm having a great night. I saw Ghostbusters, it was awesome. I loved it. Execute brought me back to my youth. Clefairy Electabuzz, there's something back here. Wormadum. And then a Honchcrow V, full art. Very cool. Not an alt art, just the full art. But whatever. I mean, I'll take it. I don't... I probably pulled it before. Not a really big pull at all. Not something that I'm completely thrilled with, but it's a pull nonetheless. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty darn well. We're going to keep going with the ETB from 151, and we'll probably pull one of the um, tins, one of the packs out of the tins in a second. Probably the next one. Michuk, Dugong, Polyrath, Nidoking. Very nice. I think I have that, though. I don't think that we need to pull, put that one in there. But I know that it is a chase. What do we need? Tangela and Mr. Mime. I do believe those are the two. Tangela and Mr. Mime. Very hard to pull. I have, they just, I just feel like they're not even real anymore. The Blastoise line, too. They're just, they're just not real. They're ethereal. They're a whole other thing. All right, let's go. Brilliant Stars has been decent because what do we got two pulls out of there we got the urshivu and a full art now all we need is the alt art ultra ball which is ultra, ultra ball is banned right now gibile turtwig trip inch clink and a wormadam 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 cards wormadam pulls wormadam cards wormadam likes wormadam subscriptions wormadam shares you guys are doing a fine job. Anybody that has been watching, I thank you guys for all the work you're doing, but please continue to like, comment, subscribe for free, and share when you can. It does help me out a little bit. I like to see that number grow. 
I would like to reach a broader audience. I would like to do this full time, but it is what it is. You gotta make things happen. You can't just expect everybody to do it, but hopefully you guys find these entertaining enough where there is some reasonable level of viewership. Uh, Probopass, Pin, Prinplup, Chinchino, Chimchar, Minchino. Oh my God, I remember doing this all the time. Opening these, it's, it's ridiculous. A Chinchino, a Chimichar, and a Minchino. This is, in, it's, it's not original. This happens too much. Nose pass, boss's orders, there's something back here. Answer, we're gonna be, what could that be? Crowbat? Haunch Crow V, hey, well, welcome back, sir. Or ma'am, whatever. You're a bird. You're a bird. You're a Deandra, Deandra Williams, D. Williams. Or, oh my God. Deandra Reynolds, not a D. Williams. A D, a D. Reynolds. It's always sunny in Philadelphia reference. I don't know if you get it. Maybe I'll make a little edit on there and just throw her up. All right, anyways, four. Uh, we don't need to do that. Main key. Wait, did that have the thing? Yep. It did. Damage to the top. Top right corner. That's crazy. Meowth. Execute. Need arena. Eradicate. Erica's invitation. Need a queen. I'll take another one of those. That would be fun. And a quickly tough. A quickly tough. EX. Fun card. I think I can make it playable, but I have not done a colorless deck in a while. Man, we got so much to go yet, don't we? Four, eight? So an ETB worth, an, an old school sword and shield ETB worth of cards to open. Yeah, man. Get it. You got it, you got it. I'm a brilliant star, I can do it. Maybe not, jeez, this pack better be worth it. That was like difficult. That was the most difficult Pokemon pack I've ever opened. Let's see if we can get one more, one more big pull out here. That'd be great. Execute, which I don't think we got a really big pull, but I mean, I guess the single striker should be gold would kind of be considered big, but in the grand scheme of things, it ain't. Okay. Come on. 151. God back, 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 God Bill Sprout, Magic Kerp, Park, Ijam, Prakajam, backwards, Oddish. I say that because they do that sometimes. Giraffe Rig, Fred, whatever. Butterfree, Charmander, Leftovers, and a Gengar and a Electric Holographic, and another G, which is, again, you want to make a pretty deck? You can make a pretty deck. Go ahead and make a pretty, pretty deck. I'm going to start posting these for a dollar a piece. No wiggle room. Because people do like their holographic energies. I don't know why. I mean, I do. One, two, three, and quattro. Let's go. Let's go. Dark energy. Gabite. Torkoal. Roseanne's backup. Which is a show that does not feature Roseanne. Chimichill. Houndoom. I've seen this card so many times. It's nice to actually get a trainer gallery card. I was actually forgetting about it for a while. And then a very playable Vibrel. I will keep that. That can go over there. No need for sleeves on those. I got plenty of each. Um, but Biberel is actually a very playable card, unless it got banned, which I didn't know, because I'm not playing any decks with Biberel. Guess what? That one's a uh, one's got that little issue right there, and that's got a slight issue there. A very slight. You can barely see it. Yep, it's there. You can see it on camera. A um, Machop, a Porygon, a Electabuzz, a Magneton, a Nidoqueen, a Victory Bell, Golduck, Aerodactyl, and a Huizing. Pretty much nothing there. So we're not getting anything out of 151 that is getting any money back in this video. This video cost a bit. It cost a bit. This is like 150, probably more than that video. Just the ETBs alone were 100. 120, 137. I'm calculating it as I go right now. What else did we do? And then 37 there. That's 100. $174. $174 video. So whatever. All right, let's go. Let's get some. Sigilith, Marnie's Pride, Blunder Policy, Snow Runt, Clink. So make sure you like and subscribe and share it whenever you can to get me a little bit of money back, but it's not going to happen. Breloom and a Heatran. Heatran. All right. So that's the tin. That's the ETB. Let's do the tin. Let's see what the tin's got. Tin Allen over here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tin Allen, Kakuna, Poliquag, 
ponytail. Man, how cool would it be if I did pull a god pack? I would be so happy. I feel like there's no doubt that it would have been a blast choice. All right, so that um, those tins were bad. That 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 tin, that specific one was very very poor. Um, so we're down to the very last two booster packs. I like both of these a lot. I think these are some of the best pack arts in recent history. Real Madrid for real, because um, Real Madrid's like gold and white. And uh, they just were sick. I don't know. I just find I found these to be high quality when they came out. But so far, this Pokemon Center ETB exclusive for Brilliant Stars seems to kind of be a bust, but that's okay. It's worth the gamble because the probability of getting something really big is increased by two packs. Kling, Riolu, Starly, Milcery. What I mean by that, too, is regular ETBs had eight booster packs. Pokemon Center exclusives always had two more. And they still do. Gallet. And a Lipard, which is the worst rare that you can get. I, I've seen so many Lipards, Leopards, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to end on my favorite set of the Scarlet and Violet Era so far. Temporal Forces is panning out to be pretty darn sweet. But um, this is also a very good one. But uh, again, make sure you guys are liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing when you can. Make sure you check out my uh, seller's page on eBay, which is Misfit Cards. And... Um, Buy some stuff, put in some bids, and I will make your wildest dreams come true. Probably not, though. Ammonite and then a Starmie to end it off. Non-holographic energy. But let's do a quick recap, and then I'll let you guys be on your way. Um, we got these cards over here. You know, they're pretty and stuff like that. And then we got some of these. We got some really cool promos in here, but mostly a bunch of nothing. I mean, we got some stuff from 151 that's worth some money. Nita King, Honchkrow, not. Arbok, yes. Gr Gita, maybe. Textricity, no. And just slash this cool promo from um, Paradox Rift. Gollum, probably. Wigglytuff, not so much. Rourke, yeah, cool. Trainer for me. Melbatol, never pulled that before. But then we got these really cool promos that are all here. And especially these trainers here and the Mr. Mime. These are where it's at. These are just sick. These keep in your personal collection. Let's see if those build any value at all. But, um, you know, you're in the commissioner's office. You're leaving the commissioner's office. Hopefully come back on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time to hang out with the commissioner again. Until next time, though, guys, you have a good one. And thank you for joining. Commissioner out. Bye.